Hey, what's up, everybody? This is White, aka Anakin Invader, here bringing you yet another toy review. Playing with toys again, yeah. And today I'm bringing you a review I didn't think I'd be doing for a long time because I didn't think I'd be getting this figure. But I did break uh, under pressure, I suppose, and uh, picked up Generations Drift. Um, if you talk to me on Skype, you know my first thought of this figure from when we saw it at Toy Fair. It looks mediocre at best, and I didn't think it looked that well. And I think it was—I thought it was being overhyped. I, I still thought that until, um, even until I, I bought it. I think it was yesterday I picked him up. Um, and uh, I, I guess I. I take that back. Um, I did think it looked a little bit better from seeing reviews and pictures. And everything, but my opinion still stayed the same. With this figure's getting way too much hype, um, it can't be that good. But I did pick it up yesterday, and I'm very surprised. It, it is a really nice toy. It's very funly, funly. Um, he's very well and fun engineered. It's a fun transformation, which is something we don't get a lot of now. Um, his he has what I just love: glossy white plastic. It's not painted. The only painted thing is these decals and some stuff in robot mode which isn't that much and yeah um trans windows besides back here which is whatever you know it's cool it's got a spoiler and everything and it, and it stays together very well it does have a sword on the bottom which i'm tired of, of everybody saying oh he has cybertronian uh writing on his sword and on his side no it's not cybertronian he's a japanese car it's Japanese writing. It's just kanji. It's not Cybertronian. And yeah. Really nice uh, rims and his wheels. Makes them look just really different and stand out. And I uh, like it a lot. And I'm surprised they actually made this character because he's an IDW character, I, I believe. He's a combo character. I know that much. But yeah. Okay. We're going to transform him now. First thing, you don't have to do this, but I like to do it because it kind of frees up some space. You want to take this sword and just pull it out and sit it down. Then, uh, how I started off, you take yeah. take his hand part with the wheel, accordion out like that. Then you kind of wiggle these off of each other. Unpeg them from each other, then double hinge it, like tilt it up, then push it over. Go over here, push that out, and take out the door. Push the door back, take the window, or well, first this little handle thing, black piece, fold it up, and then fold the window inside. Same thing over here. Rotate, flip, then kind of put these down to the. Oops. Kind of put these like that out of the way. Then go down here. Lift up. Eh, yeah, just fall out. Push that up and rotate this part down. Flip it all up. Then take these. Two parts back here, separated back here. They're on a double hinge type thing. Just kind of push them up like that. Push this all down. Take his sheaths, put them down. Rotate his arms around. And take this last piece, which will become the chest piece. There's a little tab right there and a slot. It doesn't peg in really to kind of rest there, but it, it stays in quite well. Then separate the legs, and if these things fell out, put them back in their sheaths. And there you have Generations Drift in his robot mode, which. Nah, 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 nah. He's got a pretty nice head sculpt, but oh, you can see my reflection. Nah, nah. He has a, uh, a decent head sculpt, but. um, eh, can't really see it. Yeah. 
it's decent, but I wish it's kind of like a frown, like he's angry. And I don't like that. I wish it was more like a, like a smirk. And uh, but that's my only complaint with the with the molding. But my other complaint lies in the sheaths, cause these sheaths right here, so if you have the swords in and it goes upside down, it's falling right out. And I hate that. It's so annoying. I lost the sword once because of that. Yeah, I had it for like five hours and I lost the sword. But I found it. Still. Yeah, see, um, yeah, you can kind of just see everything on him. He's not bulky. He doesn't really have a, bu a backpack. He has these shoulder bits and these uh, pads on his waist. And yeah, um, like I said, he is like a samurai type guy man thing. So. You know, just yeah. And if he's Japanese, he can also uh, play DDR. Um, yeah. That's it. Then uh, you can take the big sword. This double hinge clip right here. Slide it in there, and you can hold it. Then you can also take his uh, sword right here. It's not gonna reach. And put them in his hands. Like as such. And he's ready to go kill something. But yeah, that's about it. And it's out of focus. Yeah. Yeah. Articulation his head is on a ball joint, so it can go rotate and go up and down pretty far. So got all that universal head joint it's got ball jointed shoulders so they can go in and out even on a hinge and then at the other part of the shoulders they can go in and out then uh, rotate the bicep double hinged elbow this is on a ball joint so it can rotate and go in and out um, I actually haven't checked to see if there's any waist movement nope, there is no waist articulation but it does go forward and back pretty far in and out Rotate the part of the leg, bend at the knee, and his foot kind of does this thing, I guess. If you want to count that as articulation. So, yeah, he does have a pretty good amount of uh, movement and detailing in. There. Focus. And yeah, that's pretty much drift. Um, there's not all too much about him. Um, I don't know. I haven't, I haven't read his character bio, but I hear he's pretty overkill when it comes to a lot of things. So, oops. and so yeah, that's kind of about it. So yeah, that's pretty much drift in a better focus or I'll be angry. Okay, so that's pretty much drift. Um I hear like he is like really cocky and really just overkill and really strong and he likes to do everything pretty much. So um I don't like I I, I have read one of his character bios, read the one on the back of his box. It's not too bad, but I don't like an overkill Autobot. Uh, he's a really cool figure. I do recommend him, and especially if this figure is as good as it is, and I did not think it would be as good, um, it makes my excitement for Blur all that much more excitementable. So, yeah, I do 
recommend this figure a lot and I cannot wait to get my hands on Blur. Thank you guys for watching my review. Uh, comment, rate, subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. And time to click stop.